gotta keep winning, I gotta keep winning, I gotta keep winning, winning, winning. Gotta keep winning. A lot of love, a lot of love for you, they ain't got enough for you, I can't have you back in all night, I'm about to tell the way you taste, you can't get spiteful, oh, pissing out this ace like Franklin, uh, had a dream I woke up to a diva, taste of pink money like it's Easter. You too, made it to the hotel. I am in Springfield, Virginia right now. Just checked in. Let me give you guys a quick tour because I know you guys are curious of how I'm going to be living for the next couple of days. Probably four, what, four days, Monday, I'm leaving on Friday. So let me just give you a quick tour. So here's the front door. We walk right in. We got a bathroom right here on our left where I'll be showing you my progress. Regular shower. Oh, by the way, this is the Hilton. So yeah, nice progress pics right here. Or oh, right here, we got a nice mirror right here. We walk in, got the fridge right here, of course. And I don't see a microwave anywhere, so we're screwed on the microwave. But a uh, nice size bed, got the TV. Maybe a microwave in here. Ha! Safe, not a microwave. So I might call downstairs to see about a microwave because I'm going to need that for sure or I can't make my gains. Got a nice view. A little decent view. Nothing really spectacular out there. But check this out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, right across the street. So I'm going to go over there and check them out and see if I can get in there. Hopefully they'll let me in there for free. Uh, just finished up over here at the yard house. If you can see that right there, that is yard house. Uh, I got a salad over there. Real good salad too. It was a kale Caesar chicken salad. Uh, I didn't get any Parmesan cheese on there, but it did have a good deal of fats. I think it had about 25 grams of fat. 25 protein, I think maybe 50 carb, and that was all based off of my fitness pal. So, gotta estimate when you're in a hotel. So, yeah, that's how I'm gonna be living for the next couple of days. I'm actually on my way to Trader Joe's right now, about to drop in there, pick up some, some goods. I gotta go downstairs and see if they have a microwave, because I'm definitely gonna need a microwave if I wanna heat up some food. If not, if I can't heat up food, then Pretty much all my meals are gonna to have to be cold that I eat in the hotel. So we're gonna figure that out, but we're gonna get it done. I'm still on prep. We are four weeks out. We cannot let off the gas now. We gotta, we're in full mode. So full beast mode right now. So let me head over to Trader Joe's. Of course, I'm gonna come back and show you guys what I get. Back in the hotel, fresh out of Trader Joe's. Look, man, that's my first time actually being inside Trader Joe's purchasing items from Trader Joe's will I go back there again probably not and I wouldn't recommend you guys do it as well because I mean the quality of the stuff is probably good as I've heard from a lot of people especially my friend who I roll with but just the price man you can get so much more for cheap you know I'd rather just go to Walmart go to a standard grocery store and load up on some items. I spent forty dollars at Trader Joe's today. Forty dollars, thirty nine to be exact. But I didn't really get much. So let me show you guys what I got real quick. I got some asparagus. I got some sweet chili sauce, and this is the only sauce that I can find to put on my protein that was low in carbohydrates so the carbs is six grams per serving uh, it has 20 servings in here no fat no protein and this is all i could find you know i'm, I'm used to my sugar-free barbecue sauce but this is all i had surprisingly they don't have any sugar-free items for the barbecue sauce which sucked got some broccoli got some greek yogurt 
This is the Greek yogurt that has no fat, and it also has a little bit of carbs, which is seven carbs, and it has 18 grams of protein. So this is real good, this container right here. So one of the hardest things for people to do is get in an optimal amount. Good God, focus. Focus, get an optimal amount of protein in when they're on the road. So this is going to help out. I just got two for now. I will get some later if I need more. But I also picked up this. Now, this is pretty damn cool. Pure egg white protein. Now, you know, I told you I was done with the powders. And I was done with the protein powders. And it was all whole foods. But I am in a hotel. And I got to get protein in. And I saw this and was like, what the hell? And so all you do is pretty much mix up um, a serving into about 12 ounces of water. Or milk if you if you choose. I'm going to do water. And it has one... Uh, one fourth cup, 20 grams, has 16 grams of protein. So this is going to be real good. Uh, I think it's going to be real good. I haven't had it before, but I'm going to try it out. I'm just going to use water because I didn't want to buy any milk. And for my meat, I got two of the turkey breast packs. And I got this turkey breast over getting some chicken simply because the macros. So if you check the macros on here, uh, three slices is giving me 0.5 grams of fat and 22 grams of protein. The chicken was higher in fat. I didn't, I mean, if I can cut back on fat, I will. And so I am. So 100 calories right here per serving. So three slices is actually already sliced up pretty nice. And I don't have a scale with me, so I don't have to weigh it out, which is why I got things that I don't have to weigh out as much. I have to eyeball this protein right here, but that's fine. I also have to eyeball this. And uh, last but not least, I got some water. So I got a gallon of water. And I'll probably re just refill this when necessary. But this is going down tonight anyways. But yeah, so look, 40 fucking dollars. I'm pissed right now. But, you know, it is what it is. And I'm trying everything out. And everything looks pretty good. But for $40, good God. Man. But I'm smart. Why is that water shining like that? But I'm smart though, you know, I'm smart because I, I brought some stuff back from home. So I got me some brown rice from home right here. Uh, four, that's six containers right there, brown rice. Good, uh, good on macros. You guys know your brown rice macros. Uh, this is about 10 grams of oats. That was just the leftover of what I had. But these right here, this is 40 grams and this is another 40 grams. So, and I also brought this these oats right here which is 43 grams per packet. This is the cinnamon spice. I brought some green tea and some stevia. So I got four green tea packets in here and I got some stevia and that's just going to be for my oats right here. Uh, and of course I got my tuna. So I got the honey barbecue and some ranches, which are my top two favorites as of now. And I got honey. So honey is for the green tea. And I brought all that from home, saved on some money. I went to Walmart. Also got more. This was all in my book bag. I took it on the plane just in case I got hungry, which I didn't even eat it, but I got almonds as well. And I got a few leftover rice cakes from home as well. So this is pretty much what I, what I got in the room as of now. Also, I got three Quest Bars. And these are the Oatmeal Chocolate Chip Quest Bars. These are super, super, super good. I had four of them, but I ate one on the plane. Also, I had a banana earlier along with that salad. So, I need to get calories in. So, I'm about to hit up the gym. LA Fitness is across the street. I'm going to go check it out. And I need to get some calories in me because right now I don't have anything in me to fill for this workout. So, I'm going to get something in over here. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to get in. But we got to hit the gym. So, let's get moving. <laughs> Let me mute this TV real quick. So I'm fresh from the gym. Well, not too fresh. I got back a while ago. I've been in here killing this turkey breast. So I completely dogged the whole pack. I ate a little bit before I went to the gym, 
now I just finished it up and I actually had to go downstairs and heat it up. It tastes super good, way better than it does cold. So I warmed it up, also got a cup of the brown rice, warmed that up as well. I got a cocktail, got my BCAAs with some creatine in it that I was sipping on in the gym and I threw it in my gallon jug. A uh, couple scoops of BCAAs and a couple scoops of creatine and so I threw it up. So I threw it all inside of a glass, got a drink. So pretty much what I'm doing right now is just eating my food, getting it in. It's 8 o'clock here, which means it's 7 o'clock back at home. So I'm still on point with the whole intermittent fasting thing, but I do want to finish up my food now so I can adjust to these times, um, this new time zone. As far as the calories go, I estimate that I'm about 2,000 to 2,100 calories in, and I got about 180 carbs in i got about 225 protein in after i eat some tuna i'm going to eat two packets of tuna and finish off like that and that's pretty much going to put me at my calories and then i got like 40 fat but because i'm estimating i'm going ahead and keep the fat estimation down i don't want to eat the normal amount of fats and then be screwed up because i ate too much fat you know so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it at 40 from what I estimated. I also put a serving of this inside of my water bottle, mix it up with the water, and I actually drunk a scoop of this uh, during my workout. So I was getting my, my egg white protein during my workout. It's actually pretty good. What I did was I already had some BCAAs inside of my water bottle, so I put this in there as well, and so I'm drinking some flavored egg whites, if that makes sense. So it was super good. But anyways, yeah, that's just the update of what I'm doing right now. I couldn't record in the gym because it was super, super packed. I got a crazy workout. And I always forget to tell you guys my workout updates. So pretty much for training, what I'm doing now is I'm switching the routine up. You guys know how I feel about switching it up. You always got to switch it up at least every three to four weeks, man. This is about time. So I'm switching it up. I'm doing a body part a day. So I'm doing chest, back, shoulders, legs and arms man we're gonna do it just like that and i did it today i started today i had a chest day and i just felt like i got a super good workout like the pump was real the the strength gains were there and it's like i got so much work on the chest i got some some lower chest work some mid chest and some upper chest work and i was only working out for 55 minutes and i was exhausted pumped i mean it just felt super good so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna like this split and I mean, pretty much it's time to it's time, time to dial it in, time to bring it all the way home. It's time to focus on what we're doing. So when we're in the gym, we want to focus on the chest, just the chest. Don't want to think about nothing else. Just want to focus on the chest, focus on just getting it better defined, just get putting the final touches on it. And that's what we're focused on. So every workout is going to be focused on one body part. So that's what I'm doing for now. Uh, I did go to the LA Fitness. They let me train. So I'm, I will be recording one of these workouts one of these days. I'm going to train maybe back or arms tomorrow. I'm not really sure when I'm going to train tomorrow. But I might need to go later at night when the gym is like hopefully a little empty. Uh, they close at 11. So I'll keep you guys updated. But I'm definitely going to try to record at least one of these workouts for you guys to see how I'm looking in the gym. Uh, I'm also going to do some posing tonight. So I probably will get that on film. I might talk talk to you guys, talk you through a couple of the poses, show you some of the stuff I learned and some of the stuff I'm applying. But first, I need to finish my food and get rid of this bloat. So I'm bloated right now, just cramming a whole bunch of food that I ain't eat all day. But uh, once my stomach goes down and all that and I'm relaxed, then I'm going to pose. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and run through a few poses just to show you guys what I learned the other day when I had that posing practice because I still haven't tuned you guys in on what I've changed and what I've learned that I've been doing wrong this whole time. So if you have seen any of my posing from the previous videos, which you should because you should be watching all the videos, uh, disregard all that stuff. So let me just run you through a few things. So for the front pose... I was told that I need to have my feet planted and I need to be leaning forward towards the judges. So I have you guys down low as if you are the judges looking up at me. So bringing my lats out, 
bringing my arms down as if I want to stab myself with my thumbs and staying tight, leaning forward a bit and blowing out. Chest fairly up a little bit, but leaning forward almost on your tippy toes. You want to be fairly loose as well. You still want to be loose, so stay loose. And don't forget to smile. Then transition over to the side front. I'm leaning on this front leg or side leg, whatever you want to call it, but I'm leaning on it. So I'm pretty much all the way on it. All my weight is on it. Same thing as the front. This leg is pretty much out. Same thing. Lats out, thumbs in, blow out. Then twist a little bit, showing it off. Just squaring off to the front just in case they say everybody face front. But still from that side, showing that small waist. You can throw a hand on the shoulder, hand on the waist if you want. And then when I transition to my back, I'm going to simply just step back and around like this. Of course, I'm out of the screen, so that's just the transition I'll be doing. Cause this is when you, this is when I'll be doing like my individual posing. When it's just you and when it's just you on the stage. So I'll be doing just a kickback like around. So for the back, I was always going like this. I was doing like this, and I was doing like this. That is wrong. Don't do that. So you see how my arm kind of like crunching in on my back, taking away all of what I've been working for. So just lean back, arms up, and the same thing. You want your thumbs hitting your sides, and you want to expand. Look at that. Oh, expand. And drop your arm, get loose. Lean, lean back so the judges can see you. It's uncomfortable, but over time you'll be able to get it. So now I'm not really gonna go over to this side. I'm not sure yet. I might, but it's the same thing. All the weight is on the front leg, and you're pretty much same as the front. Twist a little bit if you want. Then back to the front. Now, of course, all of that has to be smooth. I was just showing you guys, giving you guys a few of the cues that I picked up. And that's just what I'm going to be implementing now. So when I do practice my posing, I will be thinking of all of that and just making sure it's all swift. Like I said, you can win a show just based off of your posing. Your physique might not even be better than a lot of the guys up there. But if you're comfortable, swift, loose, and just looking good and confident, oh, yeah, you can win it. So that's just a few of the cues. Hope you guys picked something up from that. Let me know. Comment below.